Okay. On. Where did it go? Okay. Okay, Vanessa, you should have an invite. Okay, Vanessa, you should have an invite. I got it. Hang on a second. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. We're good. Takes me a minute. Like I said, I'm technologically illiterate, so we know how that goes, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll wait a couple of minutes, see if anyone else comes in. I hope everybody's having a good day. I've been playing with my little sidekick die-cutting machine. And I know I need some tags. I really need some tags. And while I was cleaning up my other area over there, I found some other little things I can use and play with too. So we'll dig them out and play around. We're supposed to start getting storms a little later today. I'm not sure we will, but that's what's supposed to be going on. And I hate bad weather. I just hate it. I think I'm going to use some time cards for some tags. And I got some really pretty envelopes the other day. Let me move this off my desk real quick. Are not envelopes. I bought some real pretty napkins the other day when I was at Tuesday morning. And won't these be pretty to do some applique with? Mm -hmm. I love this one. Isn't that gorgeous? So, yeah. I'm going to play with that. Let me move these out of the way. And get one of these separated. That's some nice napkins. It's been a long day already. I'm tired. Tell me about it. Yeah. Now, if Ray messages me later and wants to come back on, she wants to do some um, alcohol inks. And we'll be doing that, but I didn't want to drag that mess out right now because it can be quite messy doing the alcohol inks. So anyway, I need to cut a tag shape and I have a little tag board and I don't even know where I stuck it. So, oh, here it is. Uh -huh. So it'll cut my edges for me. Because I can never cut them even. You know what I mean? Can't do it. Just can't do it. But I don't like that cutter. So You're right. I, I'm just going to mark it and then cut them off. Because I do not like that cutter. That cutter, it snags on everything for some reason. I don't, 
I'm not thrilled with it. So I'm just going to mark on each side. where I want to cut it. Like I said, I do not like the cutter part. It just seems like it's it just catches too much. Hey, Joe. Ray's here. Ray's here. You want to come in, Ray? My chat must have stopped. I'm going to have to deal with that. Let me check, because like I said, my chat stopped. It does that. I don't know why on my phone, and that's the only place I have chat when I'm doing these. So if anybody else is here, I apologize. I don't see Ray. Yes, she's oh, there. Oh, there you are. Hi, sweetie. Nope, you have to work. I understand. Work comes first, sweetie. I completely understand. So, I'm just going to make some tags. I need some tags. I need tags. I don't want them quite this long, so I'm going to cut them off and make two out of one, I think. You know, I just don't need them that long. These tags, these cards are nine inches and i don't want a nine inch long i think i want maybe five and then i'll do four i think that'll work just fine for me so i'm just gonna tear it doesn't have to be perfect ray has a doctor's appointment at 3 30. oh that's right you have a doctor's appointment today It'll be all right. It'll all work out. You got this. Ray ain't scared of nothing. Okay. Wish you didn't have to work. <laughs> That's what it is. I know. I've been working on my craft room and getting things moved around and because I dug out my big sewing machine and I think I'm going to move my stand and cut so I can sit the sewing machine over here by me is what I think I'm gonna do. I think it'll it'll work out a little better for me. So that'll give us two to get started on. And let's see. I said I wasn't really just kind of piddling around a little bit today. I kind of like that. So I'm just going to tear out what I need. I don't want all of the napkin. I like the front edge so much better than a flat, you know. So I need to go over to here. And then I can cut this edge off because I won't be using it anyway. Ray says she got two new scripts. She got her crazy pills. That's what her husband calls them. <laughs> When I was on the um, hormone replacement, hubby called those my sweetie pills. So, okay, I like that. That'll look cute. Let's get some glue stick. And I can never find my book, my glue book, when I need it. So, we're just going to go for it. Have any of y'all made the um, ephemera holder? I made one, but not the same style. Oh, you did? Cool. 
Mine's going to come out pretty soon. I'm going to make a video on it. Oh, neat. All right. I noticed that um, Gail, when she was packing to go on her retreat, that she was saying she was going to have to redo hers because the pages, the plastic wasn't holding with the glue. And that's why I sewed mine in. I knew they wasn't going to hold. You know, I just knew it. Because we've all tried to glue paper to plastic and it does not work. And somebody else was making one, and I did private, you know, I did message, leaving the comment that that glue is not going to hold that. It doesn't seem to matter what climate you live in, you know. Um, it's just really hard to get any kind of uh, adhesive to hold paper and plastic together, especially yeah. plastic. And you're better off just sewing them in. So, yeah, Ray, you need an intervention on the options. I'll, I'll say that much for you. Ray's always going and buying at everybody's auctions, and she's gotten, she's getting quite a stash built up. So. We all need that big stash, you know. How you don't need a big stash? We like a big stash, but you don't need it, you know. A lot of people crack with very little. Mm -hmm. So it is what it is. I craft with what I have. I like that. Isn't that pretty? The butterflies are so neat. Now, let's see what I got in here. I'm not going to use any of those on this one. It's books. I know, where You've got so many. Back away from the books, right? Back away from the books. Ooh, I like that one. Three-dimensional. Might put that over that. Hi, Perfectly Imperfect Crafts. Hi, Perfectly Imperfect Crafts. How are you? Thanks for coming in. Just kind of... Hibbling around a little bit today. Didn't have really much planned. But I like that butterfly over the top of the butterfly that was on the napkin. Give it a little 3D. 3D effect. Now, I've got some words. Let's see. Always can use a word, right? Mm -hmm. I've got to find my ink dauber thingies. Thought they were over here, and I'm not seeing them in their little plastic container. Let me grab another one. I keep plenty of them around. I pick them up every time I find them at the Dollar Tree, you know. So, I think I'm going to ink around this word. It says original. I think we'll add some cheesecloth. Let's make it kind of cute. I don't want it too big. And then I've got this cheesecloth here. that I did, and it ended up kind of this green color the other day when we were um, working on that other stuff. That's kind of cute. I like it. It's simple. I do simple. I don't, I'm not one of those that likes a lot of complicated stuff going on. I like things nice, simple. Too many steps and I get confused and panic and give up, you know. I've learned my lesson and stopped buying at crazy prices. Well, it's about time, girl. <laughs> Jeez. 
some of those prices on some of the books that people are selling, it's like, you know, go to Goodwill, go to a thrift store because you're not getting a bargain where you're getting them. I'll tell you that much. And I'm probably going out of frame and I apologize. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Let me adjust this. See if that helps a little bit. Okay. That might work. What do you think? That's cute, right? Put a pretty Good bow cute. through it. A little ribbon. Ink these edges up. I lose that little sucker all the time. There you go. Yeah. A pen. And I'm getting notifications. I don't turn them off because then I forget to turn them on and I miss everybody. So that's why y'all will hear my notifications. You never know. It may be a notification for one of your lives or something. And, you know, I don't want to miss when I'm not live myself. So that's why I don't turn them off. But I like that. That's, it's little. It's sweet. But it needs a bow through it. Some ribbon. But I love that napkin. That napkin went down really nice. Let me get my some ribbon. Okay. Hmm. This is how I hang on to my sorry ribbon and stuff. And I put it on a hook like that. So it just hangs over out of the way. And when I need some, I just go and take off what I need. So, and I think that'll look real pretty with that. So I'm just going to snip. No, it's some pretty sorry ribbon. Yeah, I get it at, um, Oh, shoot. Now I can't remember the girl's name. She has a Etsy store. I'll have to find it. Gypsy. Um, something Gypsy. Oh. And it's very reasonable. She ships very quick. I mean, you know, if you order it on Monday, you've got it by Friday. So it's very fast shipping. And I like that. Let's see, where can I hang this? Over here, maybe, while I'm working. So. Well, Ray, don't overthink yourself, dear. Just do it. When you're thinking about doing a video, just do it. My hole's a little small, so I'm going to make it a little bigger. Ugh. And let's see. Ooh, gnat. I don't like gnats. And down here in Georgia, it's like this year, gnats are horrible. It, it doesn't matter what time of day, if you open your door, there's gnats. So, I don't like them. There. There's my little tag, and I like that. I think that's sweet. Well, we've got a few people come in. I hope everyone's having a great Tuesday. My husband will probably come in sometime during this live for lunch. And my dogs will bark a little bit. And I apologize in advance. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to snip some of these little strays off. I don't like all that. I don't mind some, but... Them little long ones, you know. I don't like it. There we go. Hi, Gail. Hey, Gail. How are ya? It's nice to see you, dear. Glue this little edge down a little more. So, there's my first little tag, and I like it. So, it'll go somewhere cute. Now... I got another little tag to do. 
you're fair to Midland. Well, that's better and down and out, right? Um, let's get this ink up real quick. And I think I want to use a different napkin. Oh, I picked my napkins up. I don't know if I told everybody. I'll show them in a minute again. We have a little shop here. I don't know how nationwide they are right now, but it's called Christmas Tree Shops. <coughs> and I got this whole pack for $1.29. So, and they're really pretty napkins. And I picked up this one and they were a dollar. This one was a dollar. The small ones are a dollar and the larger ones are a dollar 29. So, I like napkins. I've got so many of them. You never have too many though, right? And my fingers are not working well today. We're supposed to start getting storms later today. No storms tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we're supposed to have storms. So, oh, you have a Christmas tree shops here? Oh, it's an hour from you. No. They are worth the drive. I've bought quite a bit at Christmas tree shops. I like it. They have some nice things. I get um, my oven liner that's nonstick. So if something boils over in the oven, you don't have to clean your oven. You just pull that liner out, wash it, and put it right back in. And they're very reasonable there. So... I even have one I use when I'm doing alcohol inks and stuff because, you know, I don't want this mat messed up. Of course, it's already gotten kind of mucky. But um, I use it for alcohol ink so I can just wash it off. I'm losing my train of thought today, y'all. I'm really hurting pretty bad. My hips are just killing me today. Yeah, it needs to rain. Son set up his equipment that he uses to do his YouTube and Facebook and radio live streams. He's going to do a show from your house this Sunday night. Oh, I'm sorry. The flooding of his basement. Oh. Some people have really been put through the mill with this flooding situation. I mean, oh my goodness. I think I may just kind of center that one and then tear that edge. I kind of like that. So let me get some glue on there and we'll just do that. And go from there. I said they're just simple tags. Everybody's made tags. But, you know, I was kind of bored and uh, well, we'll go on, make some tags, and hang out and visit with everybody for a little bit. We're trying, I'm trying to get it so when I go to my daughter's in Charleston, I'm still going to be able to do my lives, I think, because um, I have an extra camera that I can take and a tripod. And my mom, we got her laptop fixed, so I won't have to take my laptop. It's a napkin, Gail. And um, I've got my little travel craft bag. So I really think I'm going to be able to do my videos from my daughters in Charleston when I'm there visiting her. So I won't miss anything. So, yay. That'll be so much fun. Didn't go down exactly straight, but you know what? I'm not going to sweat it. Thank you, Gail. Like I said, I picked them up at Christmas tree shops. 
I've gotten to where I get quite a few of my napkins there. Tuesday morning, they have some beautiful ones, but, you know, they can get a little pricey. And, you know, none of us have money just to throw away. You can never find any pretty napkins in your area. Oh, I'm sorry. Send me your um, address and I'll try and get you a few off. Because I'm never going to use all of these napkins. But I don't mind sharing some with you, Gail. It'll be all right. You need to find a Christmas tree shops. Yeah. I don't, like I said, I don't know where they're all at. We've had ours for a few years now. And a lot of people think they're just um, Christmas, you know. And it's not. They have they have summer stuff, all kinds of things. So it's a good place to go and get some stuff. Let me poke my hole back through or I'll forget. There we go. I like that. That came out pretty cool. But it needs something else. What have I got? What have I got? I'm using up some stuff that I've collected. You have an addiction to napkins. Oh, my goodness. And, and we get them, and then we put them away, and we don't use them. You don't need to trade with me. Just send me a um, PM with your address, and I'll get them out to you as soon as I can, Gail. I really don't mind. I have to go and get your granddaughter. I understand. So, Gail's here. She'll guard me. Oh, let's see. Oh, a once-in-a-lifetime friend. I like that. It's a little big for here, but I like that sentiment. Happy together. Sister. That's kind of cute. That might look cute, just kind of hanging down there with some ribbon through there. Not bad, right? Well, thank you, Gail. But yeah, honey, just, um, I know we're friends on Facebook. Just send me an address and I'll get you some napkins out. I kind of like this. I like that simple, you know, it's just, we have been doing so much mixed media and just, you know, throwing on everything but the kitchen sink lately. My brain needs a, a nice, slow, simple break. Y'all know what I mean? Let's see if I ink up one of these tucked behind maybe. Let's try that. These little doilies. I think they're so sweet. And they're a die cut that I've got. That um, I got them off of, I think, Alley. And I th just thought they were nice little dies. But sometimes you don't want a big doily. So just a sweet little doily. Oh, yeah. Mine, um, I think my allergies are nailing me in my sleep because I get up in the mornings and, oh, my God, you know, I'm just going to put that on there and put my sort of like that. And I like that. We'll put a little something on here. 
what have I got near me? I'm trying to use stuff that I have kind of around me without, you know what I mean? And I bet I don't have any thread up here that will match that. So, aha, guess what? Ta-da! Just tie a little piece of thread there. See how that'll work. Well, you go get some rest, honey. Like I said, this wasn't a big live stream. It was just coming on to hang out and say hi and, you know, take a break for a little bit. I've been working on my craft room. Hey, Joy. And, um, you know, I just wanted a break. I just wanted a break. So, this is my, like, break time. That's cute, right? That'll work. Something short, sweet, little, done. But I'm not digging this thread on here. At least not two knots. Maybe one knot will be enough. Let me take one out. May have to just glue it down, you know? So we'll see what I can get out of here. Two knots is just too much. Oh, you know what? That thread's coming apart. So, since that twine wants to open up, we'll let it. And we'll just use a couple of pieces of it. Since that's what it wants. I can get the other piece to come undone. There we go. Ha ha. And that'll look sweet. You know, if things don't go the way you want them, just, it's good to be back doing my lives, Joy. It really is. I know I was down for a while. It was just a lot of personal stuff going on. So, but yeah, if something doesn't want to go the way you want it, then let it show you what it wants to do. And sometimes it works out a lot better for you. But yeah, I'm just, I'm not saying I'll be on every day. I know I have lately trying to get caught up and, you know, but there may be a, a day here and there or a couple of days where I'm not able to. So, yeah, I like that. That's sweet. I can deal with that. I mean, y'all know I used to do about every day there for a while. And life just got in the way for a while, you know. Um, my mom was quite ill on and off for a while. She had that hiatal hernia. And I don't know if y'all have ever been around anyone who has those, but they can go a few weeks and not be sick at all. And then all at once they're, they're really, really sick. And, you know, you can't eat everything you drink. It comes up and with an elderly person, you know, then you end up right back in the hospital because dehydration and stuff like that so but yeah I'm really working hard to get back to doing my lives I'm trying to find my end when you get your um sorry ribbon like this and you cut a piece off you know put you a um little clip on there that way you know where that ends at and you're not going to lose it because trying to find it is really something else let me tell you you wouldn't be able to do every day either no it, it's too much it really is i mean it's oh 
And coming up with something different all the time is really hard, y'all. You know that. Y'all know that. Yeah, she had a huge... It was one of the largest my do her doctor had seen, her hiatal hernia. And um, they thought they were going to have to take part of her stomach because she had let it go so long. She was scared to death to have the surgery, I'll tell you. And uh, her um, intestines and stuff was going up under her ribs and pushing on her heart. So it was not pleasant. But there we go. There's two tags made just that little bit of time. I like those. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's another thing. I have 13 grandchildren, y'all. And my mom, there's one house between me and my mom. I have my husband, I have Nova, I have my dogs, I have four children, and, you know, life gets in the way. As much as you would like for it not to, it's going to. Now, where did I put these? I'm looking. My desk is so piled, y'all, you would not believe it. I have this area to work in. The rest is piles. So, I think I'm going to fold this up and do a pocket tag. That sounds like a good idea, right? We'll just make a pocket tag. Maybe a hidden pocket. Let's see if we can put a napkin over the whole thing and just cut the slit. Yeah, it, it, it takes a lot to take care of your family. I have a dog that needs to go out. Y'all are going to have to excuse me for just a minute. Yes, well, I know. You need to go back out and potty. Ugh. Oh. Willie's an 85-pound dog, and you really don't want him having a potty accident in your house. So, yeah, I, I don't want my dog to potty in my house while I'm sitting here. That would not be a good thing. And, uh, excuse me a minute, y'all. It's my husband. Hello. Hi, hon. Sure, but be quiet when you come in. I'm live. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Sorry about that, everybody. Hubby is bringing me home lunch. And I don't know why he's doing that so much lately. I haven't asked him to, but he's like, oh, hey, if I don't. Find out if you want something. I don't think you're eating until late. And I'm like, uh, I eat when I'm hungry, you know. So, let's see. I'm going to see. Yeah. I do not like the blade on this thing. So, I don't use the blade to cut my stuff because it's jagged. There's a secret to it and I can't get it right every time. So... I'm just doing it my way. I mean, I use it. I just don't use it the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, we're going to do a pocket tag. And it's actually going to be a hidden pocket. And let's see. And I think that's pretty center there for a hole. Because if I try to eyeball that, it's not going to happen, y'all. We know that, right? I can't eyeball anything. Okay. What one should we use? Ooh. Maybe this one. It's so pretty. And 
Yeah, that'll work. We'll go up to up to here. So that'll be pretty. That's what we're gonna do. And y'all are gonna have to excuse me in a minute. I'm going to get me a drink of my sip of my drink. I'm thirsty. Now I can't remember if it's tomorrow or Thursday. I have to go redo my military ID. So I don't know if I'll be on at one or if it'll be later, you know, because going to get your military ID can take some time some days. So let me get a sip of my drink and be right back with you. I'm right here. Catch up with chat real quick. I guess Gail went to take a potty break, too. Oh, yeah, my hips are really killing me today with the arthritis. So, it'll be all right. I'll take some Trimadol and Gabapentin bedtime tonight and go lay down and feel better by morning, hopefully, right? All right, let's see. I'm not going to glue it down yet. Because I'm going to get that on there. I think. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, I am going to try and mark. Well, I'm going to get this part down. Let's get this part on. And then we'll be able to cut the other. Because I want it to be a hidden pocket. Okay. Do do do. See if I can get it on here straight, y'all. I'm not that good sometimes. Okay, that's got that. Get it on there nice and flattened out. Take your time. You're back. <laughs> Potty breaks are always good. I don't care who you are. When you gotta go, it you gotta go. Okay, I don't want that to trim down this edge real quick. And if I'm going out of frame, I apologize, y'all. I'm not Real good at this. Been a while, right? So that'll be that way. Okay. And this top part, we're going to line it up as much as we can and put it down there. And you won't ever know that pocket's there, maybe. So let's try, oops, which one is it? This one, I think. I don't want to put so much glue, I don't know where. I don't want to glue my whole thing together, you know what I mean? Okay. So now this one goes up here. over just a tiny tiny bit there we go okay. come on come on 
I talk to myself a lot when I'm crafting. Do y'all do that too? I do. I, constantly. Okay. There. It's not perfect, but it ain't too shabby. There. Now I need to pull the pocket back up. my glue up. There we go. Okay. Get it all down. Ooh. My air conditioning wind caught it. It's blowing it away from me. That's got that out of the way. Now, sure we got this all down pretty good. I will probably end up Mod Podging over this. And I know I'm sticky here and I don't want that sticky there. So let's see if I can, at least not across that area. And I've got a glue eraser. I just don't know what I've done with it. But yeah, see, once it closes, you really can't tell too much that there's a pocket there. That'd be cute. And then we'll make a little card to go down in there. So, all right, let's get this all trimmed out now. You talk to yourself and crap. You know, sometimes you just want that expert advice, right? <laughs> but yeah, I was sitting here today talking with Vanessa and doing some die cutting because I figured maybe I'd use some of it, but it just hasn't struck me to use them yet. They're the... Um, thinlets of the wildflowers from Tim Holtz and I don't know just haven't struck me to use them yet you know but that's why we cut out and do a lot of things and have them ready in advance it's in case sometimes you gotta audition stuff to know if it's gonna work for you or not I'm always auditioning things but yeah, I think I will end up using a little Mod Podge to hold that napkin down. So, but I do like that. It really looks pretty cool. So, let's see. Where is my Mod Podge? I think it's over on my workbench. You hear your name, Vanessa? Good old mud pudge, right? I got to get a new dish soap lid. Because that's all this is. It's a Sprite bottle with a dish soap lid over the top. And it works great when the lid ain't broke. So, yeah, I'm just going to put a little down. And rub it around. I don't feel like dragging out a whole bunch of stuff today. We're just a nice, simple day. You don't need a brush. Fingers work just good. I use my fingers a lot for different things. You know, I've got brushes, but who wants to go clean up glue out of a brush, you know? Not my favorite thing to do. So those are down nice. Get this edge. And it won't take it long to dry because, you know, you're not getting a whole lot down with your finger. And I just go out from the center so I don't get too many wrinkles. You're going to get some. That's just character. Another drop. Nessie, you already get your granddaughter? Or your 
grandson. Okay, yeah, see. It'll be fine. Let that dry. Let me get this cleaned up real quick. Hi, Mary Lou. Thank you for coming in. Welcome. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. I have a water bottle here. Clean this mess up. I have lost my box of replacement baby wipes to go in my container. I ain't lost them. They're here. I've just buried them somewhere. Keeps pausing. Anybody else having a problem? Gail? Vanessa? Because it's not showing it on my end, Mary. No. You may have to refresh or something. Mine does it sometimes too in different streams. It's just the way it is. Yeah. Ray, you're still here, honey. I know you're working. Okay, I'm going to dry this real quick. Hi, KK. How are you? Thanks for coming in. I'm just playing around today, KK, getting things that I may need for another project or something, you know. Never have too many tags. Never, ever. Yeah, Mary Lou, I'm sorry if it keeps doing that. Try um, refreshing your screen. Because like I said, it's not showing it on my end. Sorry for that noisy little booger, but sometimes you've got to use it, you know. Now, where did I lay my paper punch so I can punch my hole again? Oh, okay. There. You see how long? Yeah, sometimes mine doesn't last either, Mary Lou. It just... Internets are different, you know. See, my glue. I hate... It's the only thing I do not like about this glue, I think, is... You have to put that little pin in every time you use it. And, you know, I don't have time and patience for that. I'm still trying to figure out to make another ephemera holder using CD sleeves. Because they've already got a nice little plastic area for you to see through. So, yep, that's what I'm working on. Get these edges down. Now that don't look too shabby, and I don't think, if you didn't know, you could tell there's a pocket there. It's a hidden pocket now. Thank you, Vanessa. How long before you get booted on your end? We won't. I hope you don't get booted. And if you do, please come back. I have a pretty cool group of ladies. Check out all their channels. They're quite good crafters. I've learned and been inspired by a lot of them. So. Okay, and I'm not going to ink along there because, you know, that would show it's a pocket. And I kind of want it to be a hidden pocket.
I, I'm not sure. I was, when it comes to the CD sleeves, I really have not decided. But, you know, they're pretty easy to come by. And I just think they would make a great ephemera holder. You know, they've already got your nice little where you could see in. So, yeah, it may end up being a waterfall type. So, but we may have to do them sideways and add a, a hinge, you know, somewhere. So, but I'm not sure. I'm still working on it. And, you know, that can take a while. You're always looking for new ways to organize your stuff. Did you all see the um, organizer I made? Let me see if I can find it. Ah, me and Ray did them. Ah, where did I lay it? Oh, I've got this one out. Now, this was my prototype. And you open it. I have it upside down? Nope. Yeah, pocket, you know. But now on my new one, these pockets here, and I have more pockets up in here. Instead of gluing them in, I um, sewed them onto the background paper before I glued the background paper down because glue and tape and stuff like that are not going to hold your um these are plastic page protectors cut and it's not going to hold for long so and it's got a pocket in here so you can put stuff i fixed a little hook here so i could put some ribbon and trim and stuff so you'll have to check the video out y'all it came out really good but that one was a prototype doesn't hold nearly enough for your use well you know you can make the spine bigger gail and add more pockets you know you've got to interpret it and do it to suit your needs but i'm sure you can come up with something because you're quite crafty as well but yeah now we need to make a little something to go in there and I'm really honestly thinking about making like a little booklet, you know. And Gail, if you need help figuring out something, just private message me and we can do a messenger chat. I'll help you figure something out, honey. You like to use them in junk journals. It's like a picture frame. Yeah, the CD things. You use three ring binders and page protectors now. That works. I just wanted something more decorative, you know. And I like what I did because if I'm working on a project, I can keep specific things together for a project. Oh, you're welcome, Gail. So, well, ladies, I hate to say it, but hubby brought lunch home. I'm going to get off of here for now and eat lunch. And when he goes back, if y'all are game i'll come back on and we'll play some more does that sound okay since he's home for lunch the dogs will be getting loud and i don't like talking over people okay so I'm sure by 5 o'clock, he'll be headed back to work. He gets a good break because he went in at 8.30 this morning and he's got to work till late tonight. So he'll probably get about two hours. Huh? One hour? Well, okay. I'm still going to tell y'all, 5 o'clock, we'll be back here. <coughs> Eastern. Yeah, 5 o'clock Eastern. Okay. All right, I'll see y'all later. Have a great afternoon. Bye.